Hi everybody, it's Brad from Big Family Homestead, and in this video I'm starting something new. I get a lot of information and, and see a lot of different websites from all around the world, and I pick up on some very interesting and unique stories. So I'm going to go ahead and start sharing some of these oddities, these news oddities, or things that I find interesting or important. Uh, so basically, we're going to do five stories, and here we go with story number five. One quick thing before we get cooking, uh, as I do these news update thingy-mabobbers, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and put the links to the articles down below in the comments because some of this stuff is pretty ridiculous and I'm not making it up because uh, it could really easily seem that way, but proof's in the pudding right down there. So number five, uh, this is kind of disturbing really because of uh, being a homesteader and understanding how important honeybees are, but the AP reports that last year, 2014, two out of five honeybee colonies have gone bye-bye. They are dead. This is a phenomenon called CCD, and scientists have come up with several different ideas on what the problem might be, uh, but no one has a seriously solid, solid finger on it. So there is a link to the article down there below. You can check it out more, but that's kind of disturbing. That's it's 40%, man, two out of five. Mm -hmm. So there you go. So number four shouldn't really come as a shock to anybody, but uh, you know, as many times as I hear stories like this, it's, it's amazing how uh, we're just pre-wired somehow to like garbage food. And this comes from McDonald's. Uh, there's a website called Natural Society that's reporting that basically after 10 days, only 10 days of consuming McDonald's food, it completely destroys your gut health. Uh, as a matter of fact, they did testing before and after, and uh, the subjects lost almost 14,000 different types of good bacteria that you need to have good digestive health. And what's even worse than that is that it didn't come back naturally after they switched back to their normal diet. So, ick, right? Anyway, so let that be a lesson to you. Stay away from McDonald's if, you know, but if you, if you, if you are weak, a weak moment. If you got a weak moment, like me, because like, you can tell, tell tell that I'm I've been to McDonald's a few times, right? So, but if you if you have a weak moment, then make sure that you're eating some probiotics to get the good gut health going back again. Now, number three comes from the land of cool, cool things. There's a prodigy called Joey Alexander, a jazz piano prodigy, who is releasing his first record called My Favorite Things at the age of 11. This kid is ridiculously awesome. Started playing piano when he was six, um, and basically he, he can roll with the big boys. He loves Herbie Hancock, and uh, he's releasing an album, and if you have a second to check it out, the kid is ridiculous. So good. This kind of story I love hearing about because it just is amazing, the creative human spirit that we've been given. And we're all different. I mean, you may, you may, um, you may be, you know, an accountant, or you may be, you know, an astronaut, or, or, or maybe you're a gardener, and we're all good at something, and, and just to be able to express yourself through those things, I think, is a reflection of our creator, and, uh, well, so, way to go. go. Way to go, Joey Alexander. All right, so number two comes from the land of, what? Are you really kidding me? And that is this. Apparently, at uh, the Catholic University in Washington, D.C., well, they're gonna be sued by a guy named John Banshaf, who's a law professor. And the reason why is because there are too many crosses at this Catholic university. And he claims they're probably acting with malice uh, because evidently there's crosses everywhere and it's a distraction to Muslims. Uh, and I'm not kidding, that's exactly what it says. Check out the article for yourself. Um, my thought is, if they're so distracting, why would you go to a Catholic university in the first place? But that's just me. Crazy old Brad, whatever. And finally, this one is just plain weird. And that, well, it is Northern California. This story comes out of Northern California. And there's a family there who's claiming that the next door neighbor's parrot is teaching their kids to curse. Hmm. Wow, <laughs> I just, people, get a life, come on man. Really, honestly. Anyway, there it is, five strange and interesting and weird stories. Uh, hope you liked it, pass it around, uh, you know, 
Maybe you've got a, a demented sense of what is funny to, you know, like you do, like I do, whatever. Brad with Big Family Homestead, you have an amazing day.